Hello, welcome back to KG Simple Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing this electric hot pot. So this is basically an electric cooktop with a strainer and it is a non-stick surface. So you can use this for so many different things. This would be perfect for camping or just cooking outside or just if you need an extra burner on your stovetop when you have extra guests or something like that, you can just plug this in and use it on your kitchen counter. I love the versatility of this product and I love that it's all just in one piece, it's in one pot. And I also like that it comes with a strainer, it's just an added bonus, especially if you're taking this camping or something, you just don't have to bring a bunch of different pieces. Let me go ahead and open this up so I can show you what this looks like. Okay, so this is everything that it comes with. I am so excited about this. This is even more compact than I was thinking. This is basically a cooktop that you can completely just plug this in, use it, have your food in here, eat out of here, or dump it out, strain your noodles, and just use this. If you're doing something like camping or staying in an RV, this would be so perfect. All you need is an outlet. You can do anything from sauteing to making popcorn to steaming rice to any of those things, anything that you can cook in this shape of a vessel, you can do in here. You can see there is a little max line right here. So online it says that this is a non-stick and toxin-free inner coating, and it also has a heat-resistant handle, so if you are cooking on the countertop, you can still use this to move it around or change the direction of it without burning your hand or needing a hot mitt. It also comes with a pot lid, which is really, really nice that it is see-through. It is like this glass material right here, and then a heat resistant handle so that you can grab that off as well. There are a couple of holes in it so that steam can come out and you, if you did need to, you could also drain water through that as well. I really like that this is a see-through top just so that if you are cooking something like rice or something that you don't really wanna take the lid off because you don't wanna release any of that heat, you can definitely see if something is done inside here, which is nice. Obviously, this also comes with the cord to connect this to your power source and then also also comes with a little strainer so when you have the lid off here you don't even need to touch this if you are cooking something like noodles this just has little clamps you can clamp this right here onto the edge and then you just strain out your noodles just like that without burning your fingers which is perfect this also comes with a little user manual for more information I'm gonna go ahead and wash this up and then show you how I'm gonna use it Okay, I washed this up and I just filled this up with some water. I am going to boil some eggs in here. So I'm just gonna plug this part of the plug-in down here on the bottom. And I'm gonna plug this other end into the wall outlet. So right here, there are three different notches. First is off, and then you have it on low and on high. I'm gonna turn it on high heat since I want to get this water boiling. And there's a little indicator light showing that it's on. And the light's not as bright when it's on the low setting, just so that you can have a visual cue of if it is on high or low. And I'm just gonna put this lid on here and I'm just gonna wait for it to boil. I can already see um, that the water is starting to heat up the, at the base of this. And there's little tiny bubbles on the bottom, which is crazy because I literally just turned this on. So let's see about how long it takes for the water to boil. Okay, so this is to a full boil. I just put my three eggs in there. So this took about six minutes from turning the device on until when it had this little rolling little boil like this. I have my eggs in. I like to let my boiled eggs cook for about nine minutes just to have them nice and hard. I do wanna say while these are cooking, this, I can tell this is very hot. You can see all this steam coming off of it and clearly it is boiling, but this counter is not hot around it, which is really nice. And even touching the outside, this is not too hot, which is just so awesome, especially with kids running around. You don't have to worry about them burning themselves on this. When I took this lid off when it was boiling, this part of the lid does not get hot, uh, which is so great that it is heat resistant like that. So I don't need things like oven mitts to carry this pan around. And this handle is not hot at all also. Okay, so it's been about nine minutes, which is how long I like to boil my eggs for. So I'm just gonna turn this off. And I'm going to drain the water out and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start by unplugging this. 
Okay, so I'm unplugging this just because I am not super close to a sink right here, but obviously you could keep it plugged in and just drain it over a sink if you are nearby one or if you're camping um, then somewhere on the ground. So you can obviously use this to drain because there are three holes right here, but you can also use this. And I feel like this is going to be more for pasta. Um, but I will go ahead and use this to drain the water out of the eggs. Okay, so I just drained this and I was really interested to see if this strainer would actually hold up to the weight of the eggs because there are a little bit more weight in them than something like maybe noodles. And this did not budge or fall off at all, so that's really nice. Okay, so now that I have drained my eggs, I just feel like that process was super easy. I feel like using this pot was super easy. I feel like it would be really easy to boil things like noodles, but it also would be great for sauteing vegetables and just making a complete dinner in this, especially if you are trying to not heat up your house in the summertime or if you're out camping. I feel like this is such a great option. Overall, I'm really excited about all the things that I can do to use this. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description down below so you can go check this one out yourself. If you found this review useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow us for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.